Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this short video, another video dealing uh, in sorry in our series of videos dealing with logarithms, it's just going to I suppose present uh, some important logarithmic properties or logarithmic identities. Okay, so some important, some important logarithmic logarithmic okay? identities identities. Okay. Um, so maybe the first one is, is let's say is the product rule okay so let's say the first identity which is important for us is the product is the product rule okay and the product rule says that the log that the log of xy to the base a is simply equal to the sum of the logarithms so it's the log of x to the base a plus the log of y to the base to the base a so what's saying is that <laughs> if you have a product, you can break it out into a sum, or that if you have a sum of logarithms to the same basis, that what you can do is you can calculate the product. You can actually calculate the products, if that makes sense. Okay, so it's a simplification rule. It allows us to take uh, two logarithms and to combine them together. Okay, once them logarithms are to the same base and it's a summation. Okay, this is what's known as the product rule. Okay, then we have the second rule, which is known as the quotient rule. The quotient rule. Okay. Okay. Um, which tells us that log, that log of x over y, okay, that x over y to the base a, is the same as the log of x to the base a minus the log of y to the base a. Okay. So once again, it's saying that the log of a fraction or a quotient, yeah, to a particular base, is the same as the log of the numerator of the quotient to the base minus the log of the denominator of the quotient to the base. Okay. Once again, this is a rule that allows us to simplify when we have the when we have uh, the difference between two logarithms to the same base. We can actually join these together to give us a to give us a, a more simpler form. Or if we have the log of a quotient, we can break it out into the log of these particular the log of the numerator and the log of the denominator. Okay. And uh, then we have, I suppose, another important rule. Rule three is what's known as the power rule. The power rule, and what the power rule says to us is that log that log of x to the power of n to the base a is the same as the power the exponent. Okay, n times the log of x to the base a. This is a really important rule for us because what it allows us to do is it allows us to break apart an exponent from its particular base, if that makes sense. Okay? So this is an important rule. And let's have a look at the, the next the next rules. Okay, so what we have is maybe we have rule four, which is the change of base rule. Okay. So we have let's say rule four, okay, which is our change a change of base rule. Okay. Base rule. And what that says is that log of b to the base a is the same as log of b to the base c. Introduce a new base okay, relative to log of a to the base c. Okay. So what it allows us to do is it allows us to introduce a new base. Or the same base, uh, C could be A or C could be B, and actually it's it's probably it's probably at times uh, at times it will be will be nice to make this new base the same as either A or B because we know another rule which is really important, uh, rule five. Okay, let's say this is we could probably call this maybe the identity rule. Okay, and uh, maybe I should actually try to get a proper name for this particular rule. Uh, but what we really have is that I suppose. Let me just actually see. Can I actually find a a, a more appropriate name uh, we have it is that hmm where am I gone to okay let's see here we have the log the log the log of a to the base a is simply equal to, is equal is equal to one okay this is an important this is an important rule for us here is the log of any number to the same number okay to where the base and the number is the same that's simply equal to that this is simply equal to one okay um, anything else that we might have let's say we have maybe something like maybe the next rule okay so we could call this like our, our identity rule uh, we also have that maybe that log that log of one one to the base a okay is simply equal to is simply equal to zero okay and uh, we also have and look there's many many different things that I suppose that we could that we could do with this and uh, we have also let's say something like seven here um, is that log of log of a to the y to the base a is simply equal to y which is a consequence it's a consequence of the power rule, okay? And uh, maybe we could actually look at this here. Yeah, so log of a to the y 
from log of a to the y to the base a is simply equal to y times log of a to the a. Oh, and log of a to the a is equal to 1, so that's that's equal to y. Okay? Uh, so there's some important rules. Uh, these are going to help you in relation to solving your logarithmic equations, okay? Uh, and also help you in relation to simplifying al other algebraic equations, okay, that don't have logarithms in them, okay? But will allow you to, will allow you to, I suppose, uh, uh, break break exponents away from uh, away from bases and so and so on and so forth. Okay, guys, uh, this particular video dealing with important logarithmic identities uh, uh, listed, I suppose, three or four, listed, I suppose, four, four main identities, okay, the product rule, the quotient rule, the power rule, and the change of base rule, and listed another another couple of important identities that we sh should keep an eye, an, an eye out for uh, when we're solving our, our logarithmic equations. So once again, guys, this was Jonathan Lambert uh, with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland, and I hope that this video was was uh, was in some way helpful and more importantly I hope that was uh, yeah well hopefully it was helpful for you. Okay. So thank you for watching. Okay, bye bye.